What's up, everybody? It's your man, J-Rock, and I'm coming at you with another episode of the J-Rock Show in its new format with a very special guest this week. I've got my man, B-Ron. B-Ron, how are we living today, my man? Hey, J-Rock. I'm doing good, man. Good to be with you on the show in the new format. I am so excited to get started with you here today, man. Let's have a good show, man. Let's do it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, for sure. So for today, I know if everyone's kind of been tuning into the J-Rock Show as of late, and you know, here and there, been doing a lot of draft format episodes. We're gonna do that a little bit of the same today, but we're gonna change it up a little bit, Biron. We're gonna go talk a little bit of baseball. I love it. Up a little bit. So yeah, I love it. For those who don't know, if you haven't been been around for quite for quite some time or anything like that, baseball is my favorite sport. So. I am. This is one when J Rock when J Rock said, "Hey, I want to have you on. We're gonna do a baseball a baseball draft." I was like, "Yeah, let's do it, bet." Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, kind of the way it's gonna work, we're gonna go, you know, position players into DH, one starter and then a closer. Closer, okay, okay. Ron, in honor of you being the guest, I will give you first pick. Okay. All right. This, this changes things. I wasn't sure how we were going to do this, man. And I, I wasn't sure if we were allowing, you know, duplicates or anything like that. So, cause I, I have a, a main pick and a backup player. This is something getting first pick here. Now I have to kind of, I have to reconfigure my, my strategy over here. And just, just as a note, I did kind of go about this in a particular way. Uh, so yeah, I, I tried to keep it to uh, either players who I've seen play uh, or was like around to see play if that makes sense with some right, with some right, exceptions right. here and there. So you which which if if you if we get those picks you'll see you'll see what I mean. Anyway, first pick my catcher is going to be Mike Piazza. Okay. In the Mets. Okay. All right. Mike Piazza, one of the best hitting catchers of all time, one of the most absolutely home runs of a catcher all time too. That is. Hunt. Yeah, solid, solid pick. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. I, I used to. I, I was the kid who was playing. You know, to play baseball when that was a thing. I remember those games. Oh man, and that, he that was, those were he was the on, days. Yeah, he was on the cover. I think it was two thousand, two thousand and one, whichever, whichever one. I can't remember off the top of my head. But I was a kid who would go and I would put all the all the all my favorite players on the on the on my one team and make them all nine nine nine, nine overall. And oh yeah, had my fun. And Piazza was always, always one of my one of my picks. Not gonna lie, I still do that from time to time. <laughs> but all right, so with my first pick, I am going to go with a first baseman, and I am going to go and this guy, my favorite baseball player of all time, no question. And I say, had he stayed with the same with the same team that he started his career with mm -hmm. and had he stayed with them for the entirety of his career he would have been the new career all-time home run king it's albert Pujols. you know albert Pujols, man enough, i love that pick enough said albert i gotta go with my guy albert i love that pick man i really do he's one of my one of my favorite uh cardinals of all time and uh, just go into my second pick here, believe it or not, mine is also a Cardinal. I did my lineup by by position because if I were right. to have to do it by, you know, thinking about where to put them at, it would take me way longer to put this together. <laughs> so mine are not in any – mine are only in order by position, just for those listening here so you know that ahead of time. Uh, my second pick is also a first baseman. It's also a Cardinal. It's Mark McGuire. <laughs> Big man. I uh, – yeah, I I grew up in that era of you know the, the 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 home the home run steroid era if you want to call it that I guess I don't know but look it is what it is at this point uh but that you can't you can't uh, sit here and tell me that Mark McGuire was not one of the more fascinating players to watch 
during that era of baseball. If you don't, if you don't spend it, you're oh, lying no. to me. No, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't at all going to argue with that, B-Ron. <laughs> and with, I think I'll take a catcher with my second pick. And, hmm, I promise not a lot. I promise I'm trying to hide my Midwest roots here. I pr- <laughs> But I also got to go with the catcher here. And I'm going to go with who I think is the greatest defensive catcher of all time, Yadier Molina. He was my second pick, man. He's my backup. He was my backup. I love Yadier Molina. I you know, love him. He's, like you said, like you said, one of the one of the best defensive catchers uh, in in uh, history. Yes, and while he may not offensively, you know, be what you know a Pudge Rodriguez or a Johnny Bench was, mm-hmm. he was still fairly clutch, you know, when he had his moments. And to be yeah. honest, I say if Joe Maurer is Joe Maurer, I will get say I think was a little more consistent off. I think he had the edge. Yeah, I'd, but defensively, I'd have to give the edge to Yachty. But at the same time, I feel if Joe Maurer gets in in his first year eligibility, there's no reason Yadier Molina shouldn't. It, no reason. That, no but reason that's just at all. my he personal get in on his first go round. Yeah, I, I'm right there with you, man. I, I think that Yadi is that should be an Hall of Fame on his first go round. We'll see how that goes. Um, my so this is third pick here. Yeah, third pick here. Uh, this is one of those situations where I have to. Uh, I, I I mentioned earlier that you know I tried to keep it to play who I've seen play with some exceptions here. This is one of my exceptions. I have to pick Jackie Robinson here for that uh, that second baseman pick. Okay, okay. I had to take Jackie Robinson. I have to. Uh, you know, broke the color barrier uh, in for the majors, um, and he really just paved the way that, that there wouldn't be a lot of African American players in Black History Month. Uh, with, uh, without Jack Robinson. So, uh, that's, you know, that's that. I also did a book report on him growing up in, you know, in elementary school. I remember oh, yeah. I had to do a, like a whole thing and put it on a milk carton sort of presentation. They had to cut out. Oh yeah. The all mo- that stuff. Cut so out boards. Oh that's yeah. One of my, I remember one those. Of my fondest memories growing up of being, and being, uh, learning about the history of the sport and Jack Robinson being a crucial part of that. So, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. And, uh, my second, <laughs> I think I'm going to hold off on a second base pick. And I think I am going okay. to move to center field. And I am going to go with Ken Griffey Jr. Okay. All right. Yeah. Obviously, for the down on my list, just because of position, but that perfectly makes sense. You Sorry, know, though, I got a backup. That's fine. <laughs> Offensively, defensively, you know, Prime Junior just did it all. So, hundred percent, I'll leave it at that, and I'll let you take the next pick. Hundred <laughs> percent, man. Ken Griffey again, another one of my absolute favorite players in the history of baseball. Uh, it, it, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, my my fourth pick, shortstop here. Um, there's a few places I could go, um, but. I have to show some of my some of my uh, East Coast Baltimore. I think uh, I know where you're going with Harvard, this. Harvard and Junior. Yep. Pick. Yep. I had a few other options here, but if if it comes down to it, I have to take Ripken. Ripken Junior. in that spot. You know, Iron Man. Uh, one of one of the uh, icons of Baltimore sports. Exactly. Uh, the most durable, so, arguably yeah, the easy. most. Dur- the most durable player of all time. I mean, yep. Enough said. I mean, his numbers speak for itself. Hundred yeah. percent, man. And um, I think I'm also going to go shortstop, and it's going to be another cardinal. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. I'm going, to, <laughs> I believe, to be the best unquestionable defensive shortstop of all time. I'm going to go with the Wizard of Oz, Ozzy Smith. For my short, Ozzy Smith. That's that is a good pick. That's a good pick right there. He wasn't on my list just because I didn't. Again, I didn't see him play, but there's no doubt how good he is just based off of you know highlights I've seen and that kind of stuff. Right. Um, and sure, could have so, gone. Yeah, no doubt. Could have gone with more consistent offense in that spot, but I just look at his speed, his defense. I mean, the way he excites the crowd. I mean, yeah, I couldn't leave that out. So, 
Who you? Oh no, of course not. Ron. Of course not. Uh, next one, third baseman. I've got two options here, and they're both tough for me to choose one of them now because look at because of how we're doing this now. But if I had to pick one of these two, it's gonna be Adrian Beltre. Okay. okay. I'll let you know. Who, I'll let you know who my who my uh, second one was. But I want I want you to give your give your give your third base pick when you get there, and I'll let you know who my other one was. <laughs> hmm. This one. This one, I think I'm going to go way, way back. Like, before either of our, you know, existences came upon the Earth. And I am going <laughs> probably the first superstar of baseball. And I'm going to go with Babe Ruth in right field. That's a good pick, yeah. You yep. know, yep. B, B. And he was another one where I was like, I, I'm, I feel like, hmm, that's got to be a pick on here, right? Like, you can't not have... A list, a, a, a list of draft like this, right. and not include someone like Babe Ruth. The dead ball <laughs> era Shohei Otani. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, absolutely amazing. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You know, you know, yeah, could, he could was, pitch, he could, could play, pitch. could play in the field, did all. Yes, sir. All right. And it was insane. Yep. Be right. Yeah. Who you got? Uh, next one up here. Left field. So, again, I have two picks here, and if you know me, you know one of them is my favorite player ever, and he's kind of who I kind of modeled my game after when I when I, when I played baseball. Um, but the other one is someone who you know who is a controversial figure <laughs> in that, in that left field position was what you know one of the home running kings i'm not picking that i'm not picking barry bonds I'm picking ricky henderson oh man i was honestly looking there you got you got to take him for his ability to get on base though i give you that that is yeah ricky was like i said one one of the players who i kind of modeled my uh my game after in terms of being able to once i got on base be a problem for for, for, for people <laughs> Yeah, I so, feel that. I feel that. So yeah, I man, I, I have to take Ricky Henderson in this spot over over Barry Bonds. For sure, for sure. And hmm. at third base. Hmm. I'm interested to see where you go with this right one. Third base. To... Okay. I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I'll go Slim Pickens. <laughs> yeah. I'll go Prime A Rod. At third. You know, third. Again, a lot of different ways you could have gone with that. And I mean, when you think of, you know, great third baseman, I mean, mm -hmm. obviously one that comes to mind, you know, all controversies aside. Who was it? I'm sorry. I missed Alec A Rod. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. You have to. I think he's on there, too. Uh, since we're past third base now, my other pick was Chipper Jones. Okay. I, hey, Chipper Jones is a guy you could play, who in his younger days could play pretty much anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I remember him more with the Braves and playing that third base uh, role. So that's where I had him in my mind uh, to be. <laughs> um. But my next pick, I'm still sticking with the alpha here, going center field. You picked Griffey. I'm yep. gonna take say, "Hey, kid, Willie Mays." Oh, that was uh, I, I. Yeah, again, he's one of those who you know. Obviously, again, I didn't, I didn't see play, but have to. You have to make some exceptions somewhere, and Willie Mays is one of those exceptions, in my opinion. You can't talk about an all-time team without having Willie Mays on that team. You know, the from the highlights that I've seen of him. His athleticism, his ability to cover ground in the outfield, especially in, in some of those deeper ballparks, like the old uh, Tigers ballpark. I think it's the name of it right now. Hey, when he had that um, rundown catch at yes, the polo that grounds. One that plays you know, a lot, one of those famous clips. Yes, that one, absolutely. That's insane ground to cover in that center field. I mean, and the polo grounds, that center field was like well over 500. So definitely got to go the in, in that spot. And I think I'm going to, hmm. 
I'm going to jump ahead and I'm going to take a closer here. Okay. It might not be who people would think. Obviously, you know, you think of Mariano Rivera just because of longevity and, you know, all time. Yeah. Um, saves leaders. But mm -hmm. in if we're talking players in their prime at their best, I am going to go with Eric Gagne. You know, that was my yeah, okay. If you go okay. he if was you, the other one I was thinking about. If you go off that stretch of when he had the consecutive save streak, I mean he was just yeah. dominant. And I mean, lights lights out, man. And I mean lights out, absolutely. You know, Could have gone Mariano Rivera, and like I said, you know, almost any closers given up the moments as well as they had a big moments themselves, but I gotta go with Eric Gagne based off that prime. Yes, I look. I'm not gonna argue with that. That's a, that's an easy that's a easy pick to make or not an easy pick to make, but making the one you did with with Gagne, that's a very very fine pick. If you weren't gonna take Rivera, Gagne is the next the next man up in my opinion. So it makes perfect sense to me. Um, All right, right. My next one, right field. So again, there are a few ways I, I could go here, and I'm pretty sure you're probably thinking about the same one that I am. So I'm gonna take it before you do. Ichiro. Okay, okay. Ichiro, contact hitter, like his ability to get on base, pretty much with consistency. You know, between both Japan and America in the majors, like his longevity is insane uh so you know I, th there's no other pick for me uh no i'm sorry there are the picks but each row is that that first one on, in that right field position for me yeah i you can't go wrong with that pick especially i mean throw him in that lead off you know two spot in the lineup i mean yep his ability mm -hmm. to just put the ball in play i mean simple yeah unmatched and so that leaves me with Second base, left field, a DH, and a starter. And I think for my DH, I'm going to go with, you know, who I believe to be one of the greatest Dominican players of all time. I'm going to go with Big Poppy David Ortiz as my DH. As your DH? As my okay. DH. Interesting. Not where I would have gone, but that makes sense. That that makes sense. Uh, David Ortiz, I used to hate uh, seeing him in the Red Sox uniform because him him and Pujols for me were one of the, were those, those players where like you dreaded seeing it coming home coming home in the order because they were either gonna hit a home run, they just struck that or fear. or strike right yeah exactly or they were gonna strike out or you know they were gonna make a big play regardless. Um and Ortiz struck fear in my heart. Even in the video games too, I hated pitching against him because, like, bro, I don't want to. you. I gotta <laughs> tell you, MLB six the MLB O six the show. David Ortiz yeah. in franchise mode was always the first player I traded for because <laughs> you knew at least one time a game he was going to get you a home run. And I swear, just about hundred percent played with him. He went yard. One hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. I like your DH pick, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna raise you Tony Gwynn as your okay, DH. My okay. DH. I uh, like that. Another one another one of those one of those guys who was just extremely consistent as a hitter, you know, rarely struck out. Uh and for me, if 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 I'm picking a DH, that's the kind of player that I want in my DH spot. If you're gonna be a hitter, be a hitter and get get yourself on base uh by you know Rarely striking out. you helping the team that way. And Tony Gwynn, the epitome of that. Mr. Padre himself. All right, all right. I respect that. So now I think I'm going to knock my second base pick out of the way. Again, like A-Rod, this is going to be another player who is kind of controversial. But with the way I've got my lineup now, I need to go with a little more speed and, you know, some hustle. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Charlie Hustle himself, Mr. Pete Rose. Pete Rose, okay, yeah, d definitely a controversial figure. Uh, but if you sure. go st strictly off 
you know, his prime playing days, I mean, mm -hmm. was hardly anybody who ran harder, you know, and just broke down hitting the way that he did. Hmm. All right. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. He's one, he's one who I'm not too familiar with, unfortunately. Um, but just, and, and that's probably just due to me not seeing him play. And, you know, the highlights that I would see are, but they're, they do showcase his hustle and that kind of stuff. And I like that, obviously, but I don't have much to speak on that in terms of, uh, his, Ability because more so you hear about the other things surrounding him, which unfortunately kind of overshadow in some respect right. what he did on what he did on the field. Um, so getting into the pitchers here, since we're only taking one starter, I have so many names here to pick from that it's so difficult for me to choose one of them. But if I if I make me choose one of them here, J Rock, I'm gonna take Randy Johnson. Okay. Okay. Randy Johnson, Arizona Diamondback, one of my the Diamondbacks are my second favorite team in 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 the MLB, next to the Orioles, obviously. Uh, you know, I love their their stadium and the old color scheme they had, the purple, gold, oh uh, yes, green. That that that's so unique that I wish they would have stuck with that instead of going with the black and red they have now. It's fine, don't get me wrong, but the older the older uniform, the older styles that I like that much better than what they for have sure, now. For sure. um, and like, but Randy Johnson, you know, one of the, one of the, uh, in my opinion, one of the more fear pitchers because of his, his height, you know, just in insanely tall for a pitch. I mean, the man yeah. murdered a bird. It he did. In the middle of a game with the, he did. If you haven't I mean, seen that, please go find it. That, that literally YouTube it most you know what just happened baseball clips ever yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. no doubt about that man it's one of the, it's one of those just like you know the willie mays catch or cal ripkin's uh iron man streak setting the record for that those are moments that'll live in baseball history forever and they're immortalized you know so if you haven't seen that go find it go youtube it literally you probably type in randy johnson hits bird and you'll find what we're talking about. <laughs> yes, it will pop up just about instantly. Yeah, it'll probably it'll probably be, be the first result. And if you do do it, if you haven't seen it, when you do go see it, please let us know what you think about it because it's it's amazing. It's great. Without a doubt, without a doubt. And I think I'm gonna knock my last position player out of the way here. And yeah, this is going with another outfielder slash first baseman, kind of going a little out of position here just slightly. I know he played primarily right field, but I'm going to go with Stan the Man Musial. Another, you know, okay, going to be my last Cardinal pick, I swear. <laughs> but, you know, just what he did, you know, consistently for so long and just being growing up a Cardinal fan, and yes, obviously long, mm -hmm. long after, you know, his playing days were over, just seeing still what he meant to the city of St. Louis you know, and his statue every time you go to Bush Stadium, you know, one of the biggest statues that is out there, you know, around the stadium. Yeah. Because the way Bush, you know, if I don't know if you've ever been there to Bush Stadium, you're on, but there's like several statues. I have not. Kind of going around the good. one area of the stadium and his is like the biggest yeah. among them. Oh, man, that's so cool. I, I, I'll tell you, J-Rock, it's uh, well, one, of, one of my things on my bucket list is to go visit all of the I'll be saying it's a been to same here, same here so far. I've obviously, I've obviously been to Camden Yards. I've been to Nationals Park, not RFK, the newer one. Um, I've been to and I've been to um, Tropicana Field in uh, Florida, the Ray Stadium. That is on my bucket list too, as well. And actually, also to see every MLB team play. And I believe this summer I will actually finally be halfway through that list. So nice, be excited awesome. and definitely excited to knock that out. But um, okay, yeah, your final pick. You got a closer. Who are you going with? Mariana Rivera. <laughs> Enough said. Plain there's and no, simple. Yeah, there, there, there's no no question about that. Once you once you took Ganya, I said I gotta go with Mariana Rivera, man. You know, same man. When when he when him or Ganya come out of the bullpen, you may as well just you know. Start getting yourself ready, ready, ready to go. Because pretty much, more, more times than not, the game is over. 
Yes, without a doubt. And I'm going to make my last pick fairly quick here because producers are telling me we are running a little long on time, but I am going to <laughs> go with, I am going to go with, for my starting pitcher, Roger Clemens. Off that prime That's not, 80s, no, no, not a when bad he pick. won multiple Cy Young awards. I mean, you have Roger Clemens come out to start a game like prime 80s Roger Clemens, and then you have prime Eric Gagne come out to close you down. Like, you're done. Enough said. Yeah, yeah. You might get eight from Clemens and then one and then the ninth from Gagne, and that's it. You'll be good. That's it. I mean, I don't need to pitch that game. <laughs> yeah, you're not touching those two. At all. Yeah. Look, you have plenty of options to choose from, man. You had, you know, guys like Tom, Tom Glavin, Pedro Martinez, Clayton Kershaw, Phil Hernandez. You had, had plenty I, of options to choose from. And yeah. Had I gone another in another direction, it probably would have been either Greg Maddox or probably Pedro Martinez. Greg Maddox, yeah. In another he was only direction. Here too. But without a doubt. So yeah, everyone, you know, tuning into the show. Go back through, you know, compare our positions. Tell you, tell us in the thread comments down below who you think has the better lineup. Give us your own lineups as well, too. And B Ron, as always, thank you for being the first guest on the new format of the J Rock Show. I appreciate you having me, J Rock man. Thank you very much. This was a pleasure. I hope to uh, be back soon one day. Yes, sir. Without question. All right, everyone. This has been the J-Rock Show. I'm J-Rock. Thank you all for tuning in. And see the game. Be the game.